The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has changed our understanding of the universe in ways that astronomers and scientists never imagined. Launched in late 2021, this groundbreaking technology is designed to see more space and time than any other device before. The first images, shown in July 2022, ushered in an era of new discoveries, revealing previously unseen areas of the universe and providing unprecedented insight into before the study of world conditions. The implications of these discoveries affect theories of creation, expansion, and the end of the universe. Most importantly, JWST sheds light on a big question that has puzzled astronomers for more than a decade. Why is the universe moving faster than we thought? About a century ago, astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered that the Earth is expanding. Galaxies were found to be moving away from each other, indicating that the universe is expanding. This phenomenon, known as the Hubble expansion, was one of the first pieces of evidence to support the Big Bang theory. Hubble's observations made it clear that the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it is moving away from us, a relationship now expressed by the Hubble constant. This is an indication of the rapid expansion of the world. Yet, despite its fundamental importance to cosmology, determining the exact value of the Hubble constant has been fraught with challenges and discrepancies. Over the past 10 years, the Hubble tension, the significant difference in measured expansion rates depending on the observation method, has only grown more perplexing. The Hubble tension refers to the inconsistency between two primary methods of calculating the Hubble constant, one based on the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the afterglow of the Big Bang, and the other on the direct observation of distant galaxies and supernovae. Measurements using the CMB, which look at the universe as it was shortly after the Big Bang, consistently yield a lower value for the Hubble constant. Meanwhile, direct measurements, such as those using standard candles like Cepheid Variable Stars or Type I Supernovae, produce a higher value, indicating a faster expansion rate. This discrepancy poses a major challenge to the cold Lambda Dark Matter model, Lambda CDM, the standard planetary model that has explained many aspects of the universe's behavior. The Lambda CDM model, also known as the Big Bang model, suggests that the universe began by rapidly expanding from a very hot and very blue state about 13.8 billion years ago. As the universe expanded, it cooled, allowing matter to form and coalesce into the galaxies, stars, and planets we see today. According to this model, the expansion of the universe will slow down over billions of years as the forces of matter fight against the initial expansion. About 5 billion years ago, however, the expansion accelerated again due to the influence of dark energy, a mysterious force that permeates space and pushes galaxies apart. Despite its success, the Lambda CDM model is incomplete. It depends on the existence of dark matter and dark energy, two substances that make up 95% of the energy density of the entire universe but are undetectable. Unfortunately, it interacts with matter naturally, but not electronically, which is thought to be the extra mass needed to explain the motion of galaxies and the formation of the planetary web. Dark energy, on the other hand, is responsible for the acceleration of the universe. However, the nature of these particles is not well known and some say that new physics may be needed to fully understand the universe's expansion. JWST is intended to shed light on these mysteries by providing the most accurate measurements of distant objects and probing the universe in unprecedented detail. Scientists hope it will help resolve the Hubble controversy by confirming one of the competing measurements or by providing new insights into the physics driving the expansion. But two years after launch, Hubble's suspicions remain and new data from JWST deepens the mystery. A possible explanation for the Hubble drag is that the universe is not as homogeneous as the Lambda CDM model predicts. Some astronomers believe that we live in a giant hole, a vast region of space with less than average matter. If the Milky Way is located near the center of this supervoid, the galaxies around us might appear to be moving away faster than expected, leading to an overestimate of the Hubble constant in direct measurements. While this hypothesis is intriguing, it presents challenges to current cosmological models, which suggest that such a large void should not exist. Another potential explanation comes from new theories of gravity, such as modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND. MOND was originally proposed as an alternative to dark matter, suggesting that gravity behaves differently at large scales, which could explain the motions of galaxies without invoking dark matter. 
Some cosmologists have suggested that incorporating MOND or similar modifications to general relativity could help resolve the Hubble tension by changing the way we understand cosmic expansion. However, MOND has its own limitations, especially for explaining the large-scale structure of the universe, and is not yet widely accepted among astronomers. Point one of the most exciting things that Hubble's energy provides is a hint at new physics beyond the standard model. Some researchers believe that dark energy may not be constant in the universe, as described by the Lambda CDM model, but rather a dynamic field that changes over time. If dark energy was stronger in the early universe and weaker today, that might explain the difference between the two methods of measuring the Hubble constant. On the other hand, new particles, such as pure neutrinos, are affected by the rate of expansion. Pure neutrinos are neutral particles that interact with other matter through the force of gravity, and their existence provides clues to the nature of dark matter and dark energy. In 2021, Nobel-winning Johns Hopkins University astronomer Adam Rice announced the hope that JWST. Despite these differing opinions, one thing is clear. Betelgeuse is the next supernova in the Milky Way. The only question is when. In the meantime, astronomers will continue to observe the star, hoping to gather more clues about its behavior and the timing of its explosion. But regardless of the timing, it takes 650 years for the moon from the Betelgeuse supernova to reach Earth, meaning the explosion has already happened and we haven't seen it yet. This is one of the biggest vulnerabilities of the planet. When we look at the stars, we are looking back. The Betelgeuse light we see today began its journey to Earth 650 years ago, in the early days of the Renaissance. At that time, explorers like Marco Polo were marking history, and the world was about to undergo major changes. Likewise, when we look at distant stars, we see that they are millions or billions of years old. This time delay means that the world is still evolving, and we can only see the past. If Betelgeuse has already exploded, we won't know for another 650 years. Until then, we can only think about the future. Some scientists believe that the recent decline of Betelgeuse is a sign that the star is nearing the end of its life, while others believe that it is simply a change in the weather. However, the Betelgeuse disaster is a reminder of how dynamic and constantly changing the universe is. It also shows the importance of continuous monitoring and research. The more we learn about stars like Betelgeuse, the better we understand the forces that shape our galaxy and universe. Advances in astronomy have only contributed to the intrigue surrounding Betelgeuse. In 2023, scientists discovered a supernova in a nearby galaxy called SN 2023X. The supernova was brighter than the rest of the galaxy it originated from, creating a spectacular display of clear and strong. This event was particularly exciting because it looked exactly like what many predicted would happen when Betelgeuse exploded. SN 2023X is a reminder of the incredible power of supernovae and the important role they play in the formation of the universe. The study of supernovae is not just about observing cosmic events. These explosions play an important role in the life cycle of the universe. When a star explodes, it releases enormous amounts of energy and matter into space, including heavy elements such as iron and gold. These elements are necessary for the creation of planets, moons, and even life itself. In fact, many of Earth's elements, including those in our bodies, were formed in the hearts of ancient stars that exploded long before our solar system was born.